I am so excited to show you guys our very own redstone house. This is gonna be amazing. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Damien and welcome back to a very special episode of our Minecraft map showcase. Today, we're going to be showcasing our very own redstone house. Now, what's cool about this, guys, is that I made an entire Let's Build series around the structure. And if you guys want to see how to build anything in this video, definitely go check out that Let's Build. It should be on your screen right now or in the description box down below. Now, what's also cool is that I took a lot of ideas from the viewers and this is so much as your house as it is mine because because we all helped build it. All right, so to start off, I'm gonna show you guys the property and then the inside. Of course, there's a ton of redstone, so let's go ahead and get started. So first, to the left, we have a nice cave right over here, and when we flick this lever, it's gonna open up an area for us to go out for a boat. That's the first bit of redstone. We have a nice decorative cave. So back over here, we have a scattered path that's leading towards our porch. We have a barbecue grill over here with a nice chimney. And also we have a gigantic wall which is made out of redstone. We have a tree house, a place for our garden, a DJ area, as well as a trampoline. We can bounce on this as well. We have a lovely pool with a small jacuzzi and a seating arrangement right over here. Some redstone implemented into our tree house. As you can see, it's a very small tree house. You can download it and add whatever you want inside, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. As well as I do want to mention that I use some mods in this and the mods are included in the entire pack of the download as well as the texture pack. So you don't have to worry about looking Looking around for it. It's in that one download, which is pretty cool. All right, so this is our DJ area. Pretty nice. We have our garden, which is going to serve as an area to block out the backyard. As well as we do have that redstone, which I mentioned is right over here. Basically, we flick this lever, it opens up holes in the ground and shoots out fireworks on this side, on this side, and on that side. And of course, if you're not using shaders like me, you will see colorful fire fireworks and not the white blobs. So yeah, that's definitely pretty awesome, guys, and you can use this for a party. And it's also hidden, so when you turn it off, it basically hides the system on every single side of the map. So as you can see, there's nothing over there anymore. Another system we have over here is a very unique um, kind of raining arrow dispenser thing and I don't recommend using this if your computer is not good but basically you turn it on it places down a um, block up there using command blocks and then a bunch of arrows fall down from the skies and then kind of impacts the ground so as you can see um, we have a few arrows falling over here it does disappear quite quickly but it essentially covers down the entire area and maybe I could hold it down um, a little bit faster in order to show you guys how that works and also let's go ahead and toggle the downfall and turn this back on so as you can see, arrows will now be falling from the top, and I think it um, it is out of arrows. But basically, what happens here is that the command block places down a block up here and activates all of our dispensers. Obviously, as you can see, there's a lot of sound going off, and there's a lot of dispensers kind of being activated. But it basically drops down a ton of arrows in a rapid signal, and I've kind of used up all the arrows, and that takes forever to replace. But that's basically the system, and you turn it off by using this block right over here. Now, if you're using this on PC, obviously. Um, command blocks is gonna work for you and on a server I'm not sure but you have to have it enabled all right, so we also have some nice decorations on this side of our property. We have some nice windows and features to our building, as well as some hedges and whatnot. And the beach on this side, of course, looks quite nice. It's a very small beach, but I retextured all of the areas in the water to be sand, or most of the areas. And then we have nice areas to sunbathe over here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and enter our house. And the first thing we need to do is unlock our door by hitting this button right over here. We could go ahead and close it by using this button over here as well. And this one is part of the mod, which I uh, mentioned a little bit earlier when I was in the backyard but basically it's called Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod. It's the only mod I have installed on this map but it's um totally aesthetic. You don't really need it but uh, when you right click on this you do have a nice doorbell and then you can go ahead and open up the door. We have a nice hallway over here with um, some working lights and whatnot so uh, if you go to the right we do have a kitchen. Let's go ahead and close these doors so you guys don't sneak a peek at anything else. We have a table with some um, plates and stuff and this is basically the mod itself. We have a stove, we have a toaster, a microwave and some cabinets and whatnot and I really just added in the mod because I'm not that good of a builder and it really serves as an aesthetic um, add-on to the structure. You don't need it. All right, so over here we have a lever at the top which is going to allow us to turn off all of our lights inside of our building. As you can see now, all of those lights I was showing you just a little bit earlier are now turned off. And we can turn it back on and that's just one switch to control the entire house. All right, so over here we have our kitchen connected to our living room. We have a working TV, yet again part of the mod, a working radio which plays our music and then a nice little area over here to just chill and hang out. We have the paintings which look quite nice with the texture pack and then another door that's going back into our main hallway. 
So that's basically that room. Over here, we have our bedroom with a small fish tank. Of course, I cannot place fishes in there, but it's just for role playing. In here, we have a computer with a printer, a computer desk, as well as a chair. You can actually sit in this chair if you have the mod and then access our computer. And our computer is basically mine bay where you go to buy stuff online. And also our printer allows you to print um, copies of paper, as well as we do have a nice um, bed over here. It's pretty weird, I do have to admit, but we have some nice random decorations, a lamp that's part of the furniture mod yet again, and some other um, stuff that's part of the furniture mod. And also we have some other redstone right over here, which is going to be a um, defense system. Basically, we flick this lever, it's going to turn on a rapid... Um, firing dispenser as you can see it's going to fire arrows towards the front of your house and that's going to protect you from anyone trying to invade and what i like to do is also add in some gates at the middle so you could do that as well i'm not sure why i took it off earlier so as you can see it is right above our door and it's very easy to replace the arrows all right so once you don't want that on anymore you just flick the lever and turn it off all right, in here we do have um, a bit of automatic uh, redstone lighting. As you can see, there's a bit of redstone lamps at the bottom over there. And basically what happens is that if we set the time to night, you can see that those lights now turn on to give the room a bit of lighting. So there we go, they're now turned on, but since I'm using shaders, you don't really see the effect of it too much. Now, very similar to the lighting system I have at the bottom of our interior waterfall, I do have the same thing in our wall over here. So as you can see, it turns on at night. It's automatic. You don't need to worry about it. But um, as you can see, we have our, um, you know, red redstone lamps in the middle of that. And it's kind of implemented into our wall. And on the outside, we also have it um, kind of igniting or lighting up the area on the outside as well. So yeah, it's definitely pretty cool. And that's just one thing I needed to show you guys because um, yeah, that was um, something cool I added into the wall. And a lot of you suggested that as well. Alright, so let's go back into the house, and one thing I do want to mention is that the reason I didn't cover up any of this redstone is because I didn't want the house to look weird. Also, if you're playing on survival mode, you won't really see that from the outside, so it doesn't really make a difference. Alright, so let's go ahead and go into the final room over here, which is going to be our bathroom. Yet again, we used a lot of mods over here. We have a sink, a working toilet, as well as some random decorations, a skylight with some decorations on the top, as well as a shower with a shower head. Alright, so that's definitely pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at our secret areas in our house. The first secret area we have is a um, torch key area for our, um, what do you call it, armory. So we basically take a torch key, place it right over here. It opens up our armory and then we have a bunch of chests, then a bunch of ender chests or just one ender chest along with a furnace. And then this is the area where it is in the back of the house. So yeah, that's basically what that is. We could go ahead and block that up. There we go. And then close back the area using a redstone torch. So not, now no one's going to know that it's located right next to your living room. You could be chilling watching TV. Someone breaks into your house and then you kind of whip out the freaking armory and grab a sword and kind of kill everyone. All right, so there we go. We basically have our house and now we have a button right over here. It's not too secret, but you guys could decorate the area right over here to hide it. But basically, you hit this button right over here. It's going to open up a nice um, spiral staircase. And this is going to take you to a brand new area of our house. You can hit this button right over here to close it. And we have a few decorations over here. This door is going to take us to a secret exit. And then the other door is going to take us down to our basement. So the secret exit basically works like this. You come over here, hit this button. It opens up an area in the ground. You step on the slime block. You hit that button. And then you get exited or pushed out into this area of your backyard. And then you go ahead and come over here, hit this button. And then it recloses that, um, you know, secret room. All right, so there we go. Obviously, it kind of destroys the grass sometimes, so you need to watch out for that. Someone might figure out your entire plot, or if they hit this button right over here, they might um, open up the entrance by accident. So there we go. It is a secret entrance escape just for you, just in case someone attacks your house and you have that bit of defense. All right, so over here, we do have a minecart system. This is going to take you to the bottom of our map. Let's go ahead and enter the minecart, hit this button, and then go down. As you can see, we have a nice, lovely decorated area right over there. We have a cow. That is our pet cow from one of the, one of the episodes. You guys can have them as well. And basically, this area right over here is just some random decorations. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. We have a bunch of armor stands. There's no redstone over here besides the rails, but it does look pretty cool with some banners and some other decorations and paintings. Then once you get to this area, you can, of course, use this button to go back up to the top. Or you can step on this pressure plate right over here, which is going to give you a nice enchantment area. So we can grab ourselves a sword and then enchant it to the maximum amount of levels or to the minimum amount of levels. So there we go, sharpness to level four with 8.25 attack damage. And we step on it again to remove um, that enchantment area and then um, kind of use this area to our advantage. So here we have some areas for storage, decorations, and then basically everything we need before we go to the very bottom of our house. So that's like a workstation, I would say. All right, so once we have that, guys, we have a lovely elevator over here We're using 1.8. We have some slime blocks. We basically, um, oh, he's going to come with us. How's it going, cow? And then we basically hit this button right over here. It closes it and then sends us to the bottom floor. 
a very realistic elevator. I quite like it. And then we come out over here. There is a very nice floor, some accent um, colors, and some awesome blocks. And then we have a uh, fishing tank right over here with some squids inside. I think they died, but um, it looks pretty cool nonetheless. We have another color in the wall right over there. We have a shooting range, which is also pretty awesome. We could go ahead and grab ourselves a bow. And then this bow is going to allow us to shoot our um, villagers. Now, the reason there's a bunch of villagers down there is because I was playing on peaceful mode. And if you put it on easy and you spawn down another mob using that um, button right over there, you can see that it spawns down a zombie now. And you can go ahead and kill that zombie in our shooting range, which is also pretty neat. All right, so there we go. Kill that zombie. And we can also kill our villagers if we like as well. So that is our shooting range. Let's go ahead and just put our bow back into that chest and then take a look at the rest of the room. So over here on the opposite side, we do have a lever to turn on our lights on the bottom room. And this is going to be a really awesome but empty room. You could add in whatever you like. But for me, I just added in a nice floral um, arrangement in the ground as well as I added in a secret nether portal that's behind these awesome decorations. So basically, you come over here, hit this button. It's going to open up a very nice nether portal in the back and it just looks really cool. And just I love the decorations of this building and of this area itself. So there we go, it's um, a quite or a nice difference from the rest of the house. As you can see, there's a little bit less white and a lot of, um, you know, different textures and whatnot. It doesn't look that great, but I'm not that great of a builder. So I was just building this because, you know, you guys challenged me to do it and I accepted it. All right, so over here we have another um, torch key entrance, which is similar to the armory, but this one leads to a nice vault. So you basically place it right down here. You come into this area. As you can see, it's quite dark. You may want to place a torch right over here, but basically you walk into this area. There's a lever right over here. Here, you right click on it and then it lights up this area and then you have a um, vault with a bunch of nether stars emeralds and diamonds so yeah that's definitely pretty cool you have like a hidden freaking vault and this cow is following us everywhere get out of here cow they're gonna be stuck in there forever all right whatever i'm gonna close that door and you can enjoy um being in there safe and sound hopefully he doesn't die i might come back and give him some food all right, so there we go. That is the basement of our house. And I think that pretty much wraps up everything. I don't think there's anything else. Um, of course, going through the video, it is quite short, but it took a really long time to build all of these structures. So if you guys enjoyed it, please take one second to smack the like button. I definitely appreciate it. If you want to download the house as well as the texture pack and the mods, it's all in one simple pack that should be available in the description box down below. So don't worry about that. If you guys want to rebuild this on Xbox or on PlayStation, definitely go check out the series because I highly recommend it if you guys want to build any of the structures that you just saw so yeah anyways guys this was twist and i'll see you later